April 21st. Now don't hurt the Lord. Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? John 14, 9. Our Lord must be repeatedly astounded at us, astounded at how unsimple we are. It is opinions of our own which make us stupid, and when we are simple, we are never stupid. We discern all the time. Philip expected the revelation of a tremendous mystery, but not in the one whom he knew. The mystery of God is not in what is going to be. It is now. We look for it presently in some cataclysmic event. We have no reluctance in obeying Jesus, but it is probable that we are hurting him by the questions we ask. His answer comes straight back. There he is. Always, here or nowhere. We look for God to manifest himself to his children. God only manifests himself in his children. Other people see the manifestation. The child of God does not. We want to be conscious of God. We cannot be conscious of our own consciousness and remain sane. If we are asking God to give us experiences, or if conscious experience is in the road, we hurt the Lord. The very questions we ask hurt Jesus because they are not the questions of a child. Let not your heart be troubled. Then am I hurting Jesus by allowing my heart to be troubled? If I believe the character of Jesus, am I living up to my belief? Am I allowing anything to perturb my heart, any morbid questions to come in? I have to get to the implicit relationship that takes everything as it comes from Him. God never guides presently, but always now. Realize the Lord is here now, and the emancipation is immediate.